Why Texas has its own power grid is a bit of a history lesson. Dating back to the 30s. In 1935, the Federal Power Act was passed. This meant the federal government could regulate electricity across the country, except here in Texas. Texas was allowed to maintain its own uh, operating grid uh, in the, in the pre-war years. Ed Hers, an energy fellow at the University of Houston, says state leaders since then have not wanted the Texas grid to tie to the national grid. And he says that's OK. We have to fix the grid ourselves. He says Texas has a grid larger than many nations with plenty of capital and resources. It just needs to be prioritized by elected officials. Parts of the, of the national grid aren't terribly any better than ours. He says there cannot be a repeat of the February storm. There's no one going to jail that we see. And yet, even by the state's own count, more than 150 people died. And now with temperatures in the 90s, ERCOT is asking Texans to conserve energy. There is continued fear and frustration. I completely share the frustration. I live here in Texas too. We also spoke to Dr. Ann Bluntzer, the acting director of TCU's Energy Institute. In the summer, it's not as big of an issue. I'm honestly not as worried about um, about having a, a situation like we had in February in the summer. She says the problem is the actual power coming into the grid, the source of the power and the reliability. That's the real question that we've got to start asking ourselves. It's up to Texans to decide when voting what they want for the future of the state's energy. Yeah, I think we have the resources within our state to do that. We would have to make that happen for ourselves. And, and you know, that's that's a big question, right? In Dallas, I'm Tiffany Liu.